Hello everybody, I'm out of this binary. Welcome to the weekend. I'm so proud of you for making it to here. We did it. Um, I was like super tired all week and then I had to do a lot of running around. Hi dog. Um, I had to do a lot of running around all week and so I, um, like didn't ever like get a chance to rest. So then today I woke up and I was like, I am sick. Something is terribly wrong. And so I've been taking it easy today. So I'm sorry I didn't get this up sooner. And I'm sorry it's not probably going to be edited or very long, but we're going to try this. Um, so I, anyways, we're talking about masculinity, femininity, and how those concepts and things affect, um, us as non-binary people. Um, so again, I'm sorry because I'm sick. My brain isn't working very well and my language is a little bit struggling. So, um, what, how it affects me is that, um, myself, my person, my gender, like, I don't identify with masculinity or femininity or man, woman, boy, girl, like any of those identities or terms. I don't identify with them on any level. Um, but in order to like operate out in the world and like meet my own needs, I often have to like mask my needs under the guise of like masculinity or femininity. So like yesterday I was talking to a doctor about transitioning to get another opinion and she was like, well, so do you want to become like a man? And I was like, no, I want my voice to change and I want to grow facial hair. And she's like, oh, so you just want to be like sort of a man. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm not a man at all. My body is not a man at all. Like that has nothing to do with what I want my body to feel like and look like and how my brain works. Um, so that's like masculinity and then femininity, um, it's like, because that was what I, I was assigned feminine at birth and lived as a female, lived as a girl for a woman, all of those things for 24 years. Um, so I am really like sensitive about being mislabeled as, um, female or woman or girl. And, um, but like, because people assume that my body because my body, oh, another way femininity and masculinity affect me is that I'm trying to like restructure my language to not have those terms in it so much. And it's really hard. Um, so anyways, so like people assume my body, me, people assume my body is feminine. Like, you know, that term female bodied, male bodied, blah, 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 blah. I hate that. Because I'm like, I'm not female bodied. I'm just my body. I am me. We are all the same. So anyways, what I don't like about femininity and pervasive concepts of that is that I like cannot go out dressed um, in feminine clothes and have people call me um, my right pronouns or any like any pronouns, but she, her. Um, and that so like. So that means that I dress a lot more masculine usually when I go out masculine. And this is what I hate also because I'm like, I'm dressing the way that I want to dress. Oh, it got really bright. Um, I'm dressing the way that I want to dress. I'm being, and like, it's not masculine or feminine, but like the only way we can describe these styles and clothes in our language is with those concepts and words. Like that's our common language. So I'd say masculinity, femininity, those things affect me the most in terms of just trying to communicate because I can't fully communicate like my needs and who I am and what I feel like using those concepts, but I can't, people don't usually understand it without those concepts. So it's really frustrating. And then it affects like wardrobe and how I how I talk to doctors and how, what I'm comfortable wearing even because like I might want to wear a skirt and a really nice a skirt and a sweater that I f is pink. And um, if I do that, I will be treated as a girl. And most of you probably know, like, there's a difference when you're, like, there's a difference 
when you're treated, the way you're treated, there's a difference depending on how you're presenting. And if you're presenting feminine, you get treated as a girl. If you're presenting masculine, you get treated as a man. And if you're presenting something not those things, then you get treated as an other or like as a, it's weird, but I like being treated as an other the best because I don't like, I just get ignored or I get weird looks and people don't talk to me and that's fine. It's not fine. I don't like that either, but you know, I'm not, at least I'm not getting put into those boxes. However, like I have to like very carefully structure my wardrobe when I leave the house in order to achieve that effect on other people. And then it's not about what I want to wear. It's about how I want people to respond to me. <sighs> this feels more like a rant. Anyways, um, that's, yeah, that's all what I've got in my ranting. That's what I can describe for you. I would love to know how it affects how masculinity or femininity affects you, especially if you were assigned male at birth. Um, because, the, like, yeah, I, I have no idea what that would be like, and I would really like to know. So if you were assigned male at birth, please share your experience. That would be great. Um, yeah. We always need more topic ideas for Out of the Spinery, so if you have any, please leave them in the comments below or send them to them send them to us on tumblr um and i'll be i'll see you next weekend until then hang in there you're gonna make it it's gonna be okay i will see you later i don't know what i'm saying anymore bye oh wait bye